William Ruto akiwaongoza viongozi mbalimbali mbali serikalini wameza kuzindua rasmi kongamano la kidigitali la kidijitali ambao linafahamika kama Connected Africa Summit mwaka 2024 katika eneo la Huru Gardens ambapo kumekuepo na mazungumzo kuhusiana na mfumo wa kidijitali na ni vipi mfumo huu utasaidia taifa katika kuendeleza biashara na vile vile kutoa huduma za serikali. Hebu tusikilize walichokisema muda mchache uliopita. Not tempted. I must know about Kenya. When you came to Kenya, I am sure you realize that from wherever you came from you no longer need a visa to visit Kenya and it is because the artificial barriers that we have have since been brought down by technology and that's why i am proud and honored to welcome all to the connected africa summit 2024 at which we gather to inaugurate the sunrise of Africa's digital transformation, the spark which will ignite our continent's rapid development in every sector to accelerate Africa's progress in realizing its full economic potential. We are here to mobilize our shared dreams and ambitions, visions and strategies in order to pave pathways to our common future a future designed and built by Africans for Africa. Today, we come together inspired by the shared vision of a continent whose thriving economy anchors global prosperity, driven by the full participation of every citizen, and where, through the relentless pursuit of innovation, integration, and efficiency, our digital economy comes the fundamental enabler of the aspirations of over a billion Africans. The primary ambition of this summit is that through determined collaboration and innovation, we will lay a sustained foundation of connectivity and empower the people of Africa to achieve the UN Sustainable Development Goals as well as the AU's Agenda 2063. We have quite some time and we have some way to go in order to, ready, to be ready for the digital economy and the future of work. Africa's internet penetration rate is 36%, which translates to 470 million users in a continent of 1.4 billion people. Current projections indicate that at the current pace of development, this number will increase by an additional 300 million people by 2030. Our continent is connected to the global internet through 19 undersea cables, which is comparatively modest compared to other continents. For example, Europe and Asia are connected by a significantly higher number of cable landings, leading to a greater broadband accessibility with profound impacts in terms of the strong positive relationship between digital connectivity and economic prosperity. Nevertheless, we must all be concerned by the fact that our rate of connectivity is poorer than the existing potential. Despite these connections, fixed broadband penetration in Africa is only about 5%, which leaves us far behind other regions of the globe. This has great critical implications for our ambition for both connectivity and economic transformation through the digital economy. The reason is that even an increase of only 10% of our broadband connectivity can lead to a 1.4% GDP, GDP growth in our continent. Additionally, our low rate of connectivity also presents other challenges. For instance, Africa's current average broadband speed stands at 8.8, 8.1 megabytes per second, and at 5% of the monthly gross national income per capita, 
data costs represent a significant expense and places connectivity beyond the reach of most, especially those who are vulnerable. These statistics must serve as an urgent call to action and motivate us to radically enhance Africa's digital infrastructure and unleash the immense economic and innovative potential of our young people in a vibrant continent. Ladies and gentlemen, our vision for the future is bold, clearly urgent and feasible. Under the African Continental Free Trade Area Framework, we aim to harness Pan-African integration in order to expand our collective GDP from US dollars 1.7 trillion to US dollars 2.5 trillion by 2030. This ambition must be complemented by a strong commitment to bridge the huge digital divide which undermines our continent's growth prospects. Today, 300 million people across Africa live more than 50 kilometers away from an active fiber optic connection, a yawning physical cup that denies them access to internet and separates them from all the possibilities that the digital economy presents. Globally, Africa's digital infrastructure coverage, access, and quality lag behind our other.